How's she going today there, YouTube? Radon, guess what? Little tiny bit of facial hair that I do grow. I was in a rush to shave it off because it's more of a nuisance than anything. Yeah, I guess what I did, I cut myself because I'm a rookie. <laughs> Anyhow, I just fresh, freshened up, hadn't showered in three months, so I figured I'd give her a, a whirl, you know, dunk the old uh, ball bag in the sink kind of thing. <clears throat> anyway, uh, today's mission is uh, to get Barb going because it's cold as hell outside. And I have not started it in approximate, approximately, approximately, I can't even talk, approximately like, I don't know, three weeks, I think, three weeks or so, roughly-ish, something like that. And uh, the other issue, not, not, uh, not only is it cold and I haven't plugged it in, <clears throat> it's like minus 20 degrees Celsius or something like that. It's not very warm out. Um, but I also have a, uh, a bleeding, a fuel bleeding issue coming from the uh, fuel filter housing the actual plastic housing or whatever the hell it's made, aluminum housing, it's made out of that threads into the uh, underside of the uh, head. Uh, there's an O-ring in there and I think she's pooched because I had the head off when I did a head gasket recently and I didn't replace that gasket. <clears throat> That's the only other thing I could think of that could be causing my fuel to be bleeding back and then losing pressure in the lines, therefore hard starting, which sucks. So I'm going to go... Uh, Try to cold start it the way it sits and see what happens. Hmm, I'll prime the, I got one of those um, Hungry Diesel high volume, low pressure uh, lift pumps on it. It's got a big uh, plunger. So I'm gonna pump the living crap out of that and see what happens and see if we can get her going. Otherwise I'm gonna have to plug it in and wait for like 12 to 24 hours. <laughs> so we'll see you out there. <laughs> Chris. Chris! I'm gonna go start the truck, you wanna come? Okay, see ya. Okay, so uh, I'm still diddly dallying around here, uh, about to go. I, I was trying to decide whether or not, excuse me, I wanted to um, brush the snow off first or start it. As you can see, I have a snow brush that is all, well, I mean, she's a, like a hockey stick, you know, it's supposed to be below the chin or nose, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, oh, I just swore. I'm trying not to do that. So anyway, got my snow brush and. Uh, <clears throat> I'll show you why I need a snow brush <laughs> right away here. Because good old Barb is uh, covered. Oh, really? No shit, Eric. That's what snow does. Yeah, thanks. My brain's not firing on all eight today, so or in this case, all six. So as you can see, good old Barbara. She's a little frosty. She's been sitting out in the street for uh, a couple of weeks here. She's leaking lots of oil. I gotta do a bunch of seals on her. Lots of crap I gotta do. I just haven't had a chance to get to it. And part of the reason is it's uh, unfortunately, um, how do I put this? Too big to fit in the garage to actually work on it. It'll, it'll, it'll fit in my garage. That isn't the problem. The problem is actually working on it because I don't have enough room to get around the dang thing in there. So I'm going to have to find somebody with a shop that I can do it in because I'll have to pull the whole top end, well not top end, but the front end of the truck off so I can access the, uh, I can't talk, what am I trying to say? So I can get the uh, front timing cover off. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wipe some snow off this and I'm going to try and start it. Cool. Okay, so uh, next step, <clears throat> got the truck mildly <coughs> wiped off, I got the hood up. Now, if I can get up on this, here, Nick, you can hold that for a second. I'll get up here. There you go. And uh, show you what it is I need to do. What the fuck is that? Why is the rad hose all gross like that? I'm actually like thoroughly confused right now. It's like glue. I have no idea. I haven't been under here in a while, so. Anyway, now that we've established that there's a problem that I'm gonna have to, another problem. If you look right, zoom is slow as shit. Right there, you see that little plunger guy there, that fancy little thing? Yeah, I'm gonna prime the hell out of that. That's the uh, high volume, low pressure lift pump with a manual uh, primer. You can hold that if you like. I'm gonna jump right down in here. That fucking rad hose thing is freaking me out. What is that? It doesn't smell like anything. And I'm just gonna 
attempt to not have my ass crack shown to the entire freaking world and prime the Christ out of this thing. Which is hard to do because A, it's cold out, so it's not easy. And B, I'm comfortable because my hat's falling off, my pants are falling down. <laughs> Just not having a good go right now here. Here, I'll do this, so I'm not so... <laughs> I try not to break my grill any more than it already is. <sighs> now, typically, it starts to get really hard, you know you've primed it. <laughs> Which it is. So, the other thing is it's still going to start pretty hard. Because there's no fuel in the freaking lines right now. That's just priming it up to the pump. So, at least the pump will have something to shoot into the lines. So it will start a little hard. And, uh, well, Nick, if you want to, seeing as you're here, you can hold it and catch an eye on the exhaust. Okay. If she starts to go, you can run back there and check that out. Sounds good. Oh. Oh. Moment of truth. Come on, Barb. I'm gonna let the, the grid heater cycle maybe twice. And for those of you that don't know what a grid heater is, it's the Dodge equivalent, well not equivalent, but it's Ford and Chevy have glow plugs. Dodge Rams with a Cummins 12 valve or any Cummins have a, a grid heater, which is just a little tiny heating element that acts as a spacer block between the intake horn and the intake plenum. And it's a little tiny element that heats up the air as it gets sucked into the engine, so it's easier for the sucker to start. So You just learned something new today, if you didn't know. Oh dear. Come on, Barb. You never let me down before. Well, you have, but... Come on, Barbara! <laughs> Right out. I'm gonna let that cycle one more time. I'm gonna pump that a couple more times. <laughs> That's never fun. That sucks. Good enough. Yeah, this uh. I really don't know what the hell's going on with that. The coolant, upper coolant hose. What's in my hand? The stick? Or is it just frozen? It's frozen. <laughs> <Hair's> frozen. <laughs> That's how you know it's cold out. Welcome I just to had Canada. a shower there 45 minutes ago. I haven't completely dried off yet. My hair's freezing. Fuck you. Probably gonna have to throw the uh, block heater on. I've also got an oil pan heater, so we will see. Try one more time. Battery's not dead yet, that's good. Come on, Barb, you got this. Not good. Might have to throw the old booster cables on her. So listen up kids, don't use 1540 if you live in Canada. <laughs> in the summer it's good, in the winter use 040. <laughs> Lost cause. Okay, jumper cables in my half ton and be good to go. <laughs> Now, an intelligent human being would have plugged the vehicle in and then attempted everything that I'm doing right now, but uh, because I'm unintelligent, I decided to make it even harder for myself. So being that Nick's truck's right there, uh, he's gonna whip around and I'm gonna put the jumper cables on his rig to mine. And, uh, you know, honestly, I still don't think it's gonna start because of how thick 1540 oil is when it gets cold. Uh, funny enough, uh, 
you know, when 1540 and 040 get hot, their viscosity is identical, but in the cold temperatures, it's like night and day. You could take a two bottles, one that has, you know, a little bit of 1540, and one that has a little bit of 040, put them outside at negative 40 Celsius for an hour, and then bring them inside, and you dump them upside down, uh, 1540 is molasses, 040 will look like a running water, you know, for the most part, it's pretty impressive. So, okay, let's, uh, let's give her a booster. All right. We got her hooked up to the cables. Fuck, wait a minute. We're just gonna give her. That's what we do around here. Let the intake heater go one more time. Intake heater, grid heater, whatever you want to call it. Of a what are you doing? This this leak thing sucks because if it wasn't for this, she would have started already. But I gotta pull that whole filter housing right off the bottom of the head and get a new O-ring. I don't even know what part number that is. She ain't gonna fucking go. We're gonna need more more power. I'm gonna go get the Hemi. Hemi. Oh, what do you guys think? Should I do a video on this truck next? <laughs> she's, a, she's a sweet stallion. She's a pit bull with no teeth, no horsepower, but it's got an SRT 10 hood on her. Come on. I would have laughed if she didn't start. Two trucks. Two sets of cables. And one lonely diesel sitting in the street that does not want to start. Okay. Here we go. Number 967.6. Oh, even the clutch is just like you feel cold, everything is. Spidey G. I'm probably gonna have to plug this thing in, man. Do it. Why? You might have to. Which sucks because then I won't be able to move it until tomorrow. <laughs> Does it take? Well, it takes at least 12 hours. At least minimum, I think. Just, I mean, no, maybe not. It's just a tiny little crappy element heater pad thing that sticks to the oil pan. I'm not really too concerned about the, the coolant aspect of Like the block heater doesn't warm the oil up. The block heater, it's all spliced into one thing. So when I say block heater, I know I probably sound stupid because it's not gonna do shit for my oil. I'm referring to the oil pan heater that I have that's spliced in. It's when you plug the one plug in, it heats up both. It turns on the, the block heater element and it turns on the uh, oil pan heater element. So, yeah. Chili bar don't wanna go yet. We'll do, we'll give her one more shot. The oil's been sloshing around a little bit, moving around in there like molasses. We'll let it uh, hang out for a few more minutes and. If I don't get her going, I'm going to plug it in and start again tomorrow. So. <laughs> this last time. Last time I'm trying to start this funky kit today. Because if it doesn't, uh, I'm plugging it in and we're going to worry about it tomorrow. Come on, Barb. Come on, Barb.
It wants to. It wants to. It's gonna, it will. It's getting fuel, but now it's just so cold that it's having a hard time to start. Now. This one, it's gonna catch this one. Yeah. Calling it. <laughs> I fucking called it. <laughs> Look at that, just a pig. Look at the smoke rings. <laughs> Oh, she is frosty. I hate cold starting her like that. That sucks. I'll never do that to you again, baby girl. I promise. I'm going to plug you in. <laughs> okay, well, so I got it uh, idled up a little bit. She's sounding a little better now. <laughs> Just kidding. Sounds like shit. <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all, actually. <laughs> Now keep in mind, this truck's a ginormous hunk of shit. So it looks pretty, but probably gonna have to put a new engine in it, or at least rebuild this one at some point. It's got tons of blow-by now, and it's just all all kinds of good stuff. <coughs> We're gonna run her till she pops. I mean, why why uh, why give up now, right? So hopefully, at some point, this sounds a little bit healthier. We're inside, Barb. She's, uh... She's warmed up enough, I think, to uh, take her for a little test drive. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of unfortunately's in a lot of these videos of mine. Uh, I haven't got what you'd call um, heat. And this camera angle's absolutely atrocious, so I apologize, sincerely. Uh, let's try this. Let's see if I can put it down over here without it falling over. Maybe that might work. I do that, and then like this. It's probably, yeah, that'll work, I guess. We're not going that far. It's, uh, you know, just trying to get a good angle. But no matter, as soon as I get light over here, it's gonna go dark on me, but. Okay, anyway, well, I haven't driven her in a couple of weeks for sure. I'm uh, going to do so right now. I'm gonna go, yep, got my wallet, got my phone. I'm gonna go grab a coffee. Because that's what Canadians do when it's cold. Well, that window's frozen shut. God, is it weird driving this thing again? Okay, and we're off. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, cool, see ya. Howdy doodly, folks. <clears throat> so, uh, it's day two. Um, I kind of lost track of time yesterday and didn't, uh, didn't keep filming. But uh, <clears throat> I ended up taking Barb into the city. Um, went for a drive, met up with some people, and uh, now I'm going to go do some more errands. I'm wearing my 90s sweater to match my 90s truck, and uh, yeah. I love this truck. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. This this is, I don't, I shouldn't even be driving it. It's leaking lots of oil right now. I have to worry about that, but oh, I love driving this truck, so. Well, until you own one, you'll understand. You won't understand. Anyway, if you like this type of content, it's a little bit more mellow, you know, not so vulgar, and it's kind of just me hanging out, trying to get my crappy truck started. Uh, you know, just vlogging. I don't know, this vlogging thing's new to me. I don't really understand it as, as well as I'd like to, but um, if this is something you're interested in me doing more, drop a thumbs up on the uh, video and make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments, man. It uh, helps more than you realize, so I appreciate it. See you later.